my beautiful people welcome to your reading before we're heading over to the actual reading for your sign i just quickly have an announcement for everyone because i felt guided to do a giveaway again it's been some time since i gave away free reading so i thought okay you know what let's do this <laughs> it's almost my birthday season as well so it's my gift to you guys so if you would like to participate you know and want to win this free reading um you can leave a comment underneath you know this video um, just integrate word free giveaway of reading or something like that so i know that you're not just leaving a comment but you also actually want to participate into the reading you can entrance this giveaway till the 20th of june and then i'll announce the winner of the reading uh, on june 21st on the community page also of course um make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you you know hit the like button because you know that's all i'm asking all right let's head over to your reading hi aries welcome to your reading for the month of june thank you so much for being here i hope you all are doing well i miss reading for you guys man it's been a while it's been a while so june gemini season third house energy for you guys a lot of third house a lot of planets moving into gemini for you guys and um yes as an aries rising it's really directly a third house but even if you have a sun or moon in in aries uh, the third house energy will show up and that's the house of communication it's a house of um you know building together with other people community um all of those things that are coming up you know as a gemini <laughs> gemini is a ruler of the third house actually so everything is sort of am amplified when it comes to that but what i'm sensing with you because you also have like a ninth house energy coming through. I am feeling that being able to like sort of hide from communicating your feelings or letting know what's going on beneath you, speaking about what's bothering you or what you what makes you, you know, uncertain or insecure. It's like hiding away from that is not really the way to go or the um, a big option for that. I feel this is a month of transparency so being transparent not only with other people not only communicating to for, for example your partner or your business partner about what you want and what your expectations are i think it also goes into having those deeper conversations with yourself what do i want where do i want to go and feeling the urge to plan more long-term things but also something that you used to have so, sort of on your bucket list your wish list um now actually wanting to seriously start planning those things for example if you want to take a long trip really looking up the options what would it cost me when is the best time of the year to go what's the weather like over there in which season um what type of airplane would i you know take um and all of that and how much money would it cost me and how can I start setting money aside and how long would that take me to get make that happen in order to fulfill those fulfill that dream to make it happen to do those things um, I'm feeling like this month will be a great month to actually create a plan and being able to stick to it moving forward so that Gemini new moon on the 6th of, of um, June the Gemini new moon on the 6th of June <laughs> <laughs> that rhymes. I was like, did I just say the word twice? No, I actually used all different words, but it all sounded the same. Interesting. Um, yeah, that is something that um, that is possible, and so it will be greatly benef benefiting for you to um, take advantage of that those energies this month. But even if it's like, okay, I want to buy my own house or I want to build my own house. Where would I build it? What's the best way to go? What type of contractor would I take? Do I know anyone who used the contractor to build their house? Can I ask them for advice? Really, instead of feeling like, oh, I want that, but I don't know how to do it or I just don't have the money right now. It's like, no, really figure it out. Is it actually some practical steps? Could you um, really come to the conclusion of all the practical steps you might need to take? in order to make that a reality to make that happen or is it just a dream to dream and is it not something you would actually want when it comes to the truth of it 
being honest with yourself. Maybe you've been working towards one of those goals, one of those dreams, and you're like, hey, maybe I don't really ever want this. <laughs> maybe it's not really even for me. I just thought that I wanted that. And thought, thinking about something that I may want in the future brought me a sense of guidance or peace or clarity. But maybe it's not actually really the thing that I wanted. I just wanted the benefit from wanting that thing or needing that thing. Justice. Yep. Truth. Balance. At least it is being weighed off of what's what. What is what? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it inspiring? Is it draining? Is it what is what? Is it realistic? Is it not? Is it, how can we make it happen? And bringing in that balance with justice, you are getting something back. So you're claiming something back because something is being removed in order to bring back the balance. Beautiful, that Ten of Cups. Yep. You're prioritizing your emotional happiness and your emotional fulfillment. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Not only that, you're committed to that work. Like, I, like we're just talking about, right? It's like, this is the thing I want to do. How can I, what are the small details that I need to work? Can I just one day at a time tackle those things down and actually make it an make it a reality something that i always thought like was impossible but i love to have that dream but maybe is it possible and your mind is start to cope differently with those things it's not about the quick fix or the quick instant gratification it's like you want gratification from a long-term goal something you have to work towards and that doesn't just is a fleeting type of satisfaction or if it doesn't instantly bring about some form of blessings or some form of achievement that you lose interest you want to challenge yourself can i find something that day to day no matter if i have a bad day a good day a motivated day an unmotivated day that it's still sort of a consistency in my life can i add that can i find something like that that's what i'm seeing <clears throat> Okay, so what else from the Aries people? Because the world will start responding to that. Beautiful. Queen of Wands. Yep. I love the Queen of Wands. That's you. I love seeing you in the Queen of Wands energy. Doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. Or everything above and in between. It is about the energy of the Queen of Wands. And C is not trying to claim anything else that she is but still knows she's good enough to lead by example not by force by example beautiful you have the hermit with the six of wands oh beautiful aries i love this energy because that's the thing you're looking deeper into how do i get myself from being all over the place maybe with your mind maybe with your manifestation maybe it's about the quick the in and the out the in and the out how do we bring more calmness there and how with a, a lot more grace and patience with yourself like that knight of cups and temperance you're the way that you approach yourself i'm seeing the world starting to respond to the intention you're setting for your life for yourself beautiful so the nine of wands is that six of swords where you're moving towards is feeling like a lack of space for vulnerability that's what you're releasing with the king of wands beautiful that equalness then you can bring in your masculine again you know you can definitely channel your masculine energy to go get it or let's make it happen it doesn't have to be completely silent in order to come from a level of patience and grace with your journey and with yourself it can come it can definitely benefit you look i mean it's beautiful what your masculine is trying to protect you but protect your feminine but it's not really protecting it in such a way where it is creating this safe space to create it's almost like 
You just gotta sit here, you gotta be silent, don't be seen, don't do you know, then you're safe from anything and everything that can harm you. Mm. So give it something else to do. Give your masculine something else to do. We'll catch up later. You know, it will catch up with you. Mars will move into Gemini eventually in June. So, oh, that neck wreck. <laughs> that one came from. It's like release the tension. The, yes, exactly. That's why I felt that. I felt the need to like crack my neck. Which is actually cracking and I hardly ever crack. So <laughs> that's actually a uh, extra message because it's sitting so like there's a lot of tension in the shoulders. You know, and I did definitely worked out yesterday, so I do feel a little bit of tension in my shoulders. But that's not from me. <laughs> that's like the reading. It's energy, the stagnation in the shoulders. It's like I have to push through. I have to go. I have to go. And it's nothing. That's not fun. There's no fun in that. The forcing and the pushing and the masculine, you gotta grow up, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. And it's like, where's the fun? Hello? You know, the feminist is playful. She is very smart, but she uses her and trusts her own instincts. She understands the importance of the balance, like play, work hard, play hard, you know? But what is play? play doesn't have to be an escape play is you could still show up for the work but in a more playful way in a more graceful way in a more creative way hmm? creation comes from the feminine so don't focus on the things that aren't here yet focus on the things you can do one day at a time don't see the end goal as something as a burdensome something as to feel negative energies towards to have all these expectations about it's about the joy and the creation um the creative energy flow of the creating it making it happen there's no need to self-sacrifice your well-being mentally physically emotionally um in order to achieve any goal that is meant to be achieved. That's definitely a trap. Because the thing is, if you do something you're passionate about, even if it's hard work when it comes to like physical labor, it just fills you up. It's so much life source energy. It's like you, you don't even feel like you need to eat, need sleep. But that's not where you were at. They, keep on talking about this water you see it kind of comes flowing down it comes out of these rough waters you see over here it's rough over there it's smooth so that's what they're talking about this is this cycle and here you have the ace of swords with the nine of swords oh i got it aries the cardinal signs have been true it i'm also a cardinal sign <laughs> you guys are my 10th house <laughs> so i feel you okay that's a lot of cards but let's just go with it because it has a story, story to tell first and foremost with the four of swords with the five of pentacles and the five of swords the Queen of Cups, the Fool, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Underneath all of this gunk, you know. I don't know if that's a word, but that's just what. The only way I can put this feeling I'm feeling into words. There is you. There is your essence. There is your magic, Aries. Your Mars fire the the passion driven you and life just circumstances in life continue to take piece by piece by piece by piece from you in order to i don't know i'm hearing fall in line keep something you really wanted 
doing the things you think you should do and every and every step and I get it is grown up life life happens we have responsibilities yes but what the core of this is is that you find a rest a resting space a charging space inside of all of that because you have the four of swords and then you have that in the middle of the five of pentacles and the five of swords it's like how do i trust how do i take a step back in a phase where everything screams inside of me that i'm i'm losing you know grip and so i should work harder and i should show up more and i should do this and i should do that you know and i should focus on this and all that i'm feeling but i'm, I'm not really necessarily seeing that that is a way of healing a way of healing is surrender you're not in it alone and it's okay to ask for help either it's from the universe your angels or the louder universe to send you a physical person that can actually help that can actually either help you out with what you're trying to do give you some advice or just cooks you some dinner and tells you to chill puts on a movie for you and just nurtures you for a night it just takes over it's like oh you can't put your feet up I'm gonna take care of dinner tonight and I'll, I'll put the kids to bed or I'll uh, come and I'll do your dishes and I'll do your laundry and you just chill okay don't say no I'm let me just do this like you may even have a cancer friend showing up at your door <laughs> I'm just take care of you okay I know you're a beautiful independent creature and it's all good out there in the world but let me take care of you for a little bit because everybody deserves to be nurtured sometimes okay maybe there's a you doing this for yourself that, that is also a possibility so Aries in the middle of it all you have a queen of cups with the full energy so you, you your spirit is definitely very much alive can't kill an Aries okay no ain't no way it might be buried you know underneath all this gunk and all these feelings and pressures and responsibilities and everything you know you can do to with cardinal energy make them feel responsible for shit that isn't even their responsibility or you know feeling guilty for not showing up because there's also guilt involved because there is you do have faces where you don't show up you know where you're in your uh i'ma just uh you know do this right now just do the the cliff dancing for a little bit because i've been out here in the world too much and now i just need to be in my own world and the way that you go about it could leave some scars along the way and so then you feel like hey i've done this that and so now i need to show up even more in order to catch up I'm not saying that that's not necessarily where the situation is right now. I'm just saying that there are so many layers of why you fall into the trap of manifesting from a place of fear because um, what if I don't? So in the middle of all of this, there are beautiful concrete flowers growing all over your reading. Beautiful potential happiness healing and the rest is all just like you know so you do need healing you do deserve to free yourself from the below the surface you kept your head above water aries you kept your head above waters and that was it and therefore you were able to continue to float coming out of that phase and no longer needing to like f swim for your life or keep yourself above water coming out on, on the, to the land your body needs adjustment your spirit needs adjustment because you're still in survival mode you see often when when something happens you know um, you have like a really insane adrenaline spike the coming down from that spike of the adrenaline in blood can sometimes like make you pass out make you nauseous like all of that or you know all of a sudden feel all the pain like sometimes you know um without getting into too much detail i've been in 
a couple years ago, I've been in a very severe car crash and um, I got myself out of the car and I, I still don't know how. <laughs> and I was, there was a survival instinct within me. And um, that I do know. Everybody has its own ways and a long life and life experience, you, you know. Um, what's what like how do you respond and that's just a natural response you can not really unlearn or relearn that you know of course maybe in to a certain extent but like when something happens you either are an actor or you are a freezer and there's no judgment there's no like you know one is better than the other <laughs> um i'm an actor and a do and that's just something on an instinct you know as a cardinal sign like you guys that's why i'm talking about it but as a cancer as well it's like we fixed it and then later on like all these energies and then the feelings come and then the emotions come um, or the adrenaline comes and everything it's like when I got out of the car I was not in a state of actually getting out of the car myself you know and my hand was completely like ripped open and until somebody who came you know who was also involved in the accident um, came to me and said oh, your hand that's when I looked at my hand and I started feeling some stuff but my body was in such like survival mode of like such a high spike of um, adrenaline that I couldn't feel anything and the thing is is that I'm sensing that you guys have those moments where you can really act from that space and then the calming down of that it's like an, a sugar high, right? And the cra crash, sh like the crashing down of that energy. And so it's either you're full of confidence or you're completely like, you know, below the surface and, and just, you know, you're winging it and you, people still may believe that, you know, you're doing good, but below the surface, there's so much going on. And it only takes one person to, to, to look at it and really look at it and talk to you about it. And it's, you know, out there in the open. So with you guys, you can see it in your behavior and especially how you react to yourself. So I'm sensing that you're learning how to, how, how to stay more in, in the middle of that how to function there, how to create long-term goals instead of instant gratification and then the crash and then the instant and the crash, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit more like this, like, you know, in the middle and, um, but gets you great results. Cause there's no up and down and no up and down. It actually gets you there much faster. So long-term happiness, long-term goals and fulfillment, long-term investments long-term payoffs on an emotional level it's not the, the highs and the lows and it's also it's okay to leave something behind before it gets to that point you know all right here we go i do have to say because i feel like i didn't completely finish my story <laughs> Once I actually got into the ambulance, I thought I was doing fine, but the moment I got in the ambulance and actually that adrenaline came down, I passed, I passed out, I passed out. But actually, I was actually passed out in the car on impact, and I was gone for just a little bit, and all of a sudden I was standing outside, and I got myself out of the car. So there was this, you know, um this energy that just yeah was coming from the subconscious i guess but it's things like that that prove to you who and what you are like for example man i'm <laughs> i cannot like give too many examples because if you do really want to know my life we can talk about it <laughs> in another time <laughs> not on our time you know <laughs> um but I, you know, when I was younger, I mean, I have to like choose one of the fun, uh, the stories because there's been a lot. Um, I think 
let's say the one time where my car catched fire okay because we're talking to air so let's use some fire one time um i was at a gas station and for some reason my car started like you know flaming up underneath the hood i was standing in front of it i saw the flames i saw water and it was gone and then when in i think a split second my instincts found water put water on it is that the best idea i don't know probably not because i had to wait for the thing to come pick my car up but the thing was for me was feeling the responsibility of where I'm at. I'm at a gas station. If it gets fire at a gas station, there's such high risk. And so I grabbed water from somewhere and I put it on the fire within less than a second. I don't even know how I did that. But all I remember was there was fire and then there was no fire. And then after it, all the emotions and all the things and all of that you know started to like come true and it's 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 just like that subconscious energy that sometimes either gets us in trouble <laughs> you know when we have the best intentions um but also that we trust ourselves more and that's life circumstances and it's life you know experiences basically it's like you gotta know who you are I've got myself out of situations physically. I know that, you know, I'm, I'm a, you know, I look like a tiny woman and I am, but I'm, I'm really strong when I have to be. And it's not because I want to brag or something or because, you know, something I achieved, you know, uh, aspire to be. I just know from moments in my life when I needed to use that strength, it wasn't right there for me. And, um, and so I know that of myself, but also got myself mentally out of situations being able to talk myself talk somebody down um in a moment where i need to create safety for myself and we're able to mentally use that strength and therefore you are capable there goes the six of pentacles um capable of trusting yourself and you have a similar things and things you went through in life areas and still sometimes you doubt yourself, you doubt your own strength, you doubt your own abilities. When you life already showed you your capabilities and your ingredients and the tools that you can use. So I know that when I really need it, I have an inner strength that will show up for me. Whether that's me or divine or whatever, I know I have that. So I don't need to completely every day find myself like over, like continuously find myself a situation where I have to reprove that to myself. I know this. I aspire never to have to use it again. But you know, no life. But I also trust myself on a certain level because I've went through those experience. And that's the same thing that I'm reading in your reading. That's why I'm going on and on about this stuff. <laughs> it's because you've already proved to yourself, but you're trying to reprove things to yourself and that makes you miserable. I'm just keeping it real. You know, it's not, it doesn't make you happy. It doesn't really, you don't have to do it. You don't have to put yourself through this to prove yourself that you're capable of keeping a job or like being responsible or taking on responsibilities or showing that you love somebody. You already have shown that you love somebody. You already have shown your worth. You already have shown that you're loyal. You don't have to continuously over and over and over every single day, you know, prove it and prove it and prove it. And if somebody is asking you to reprove it and reprove and reprove it, it got to go because where is the growth? Where is the payout for the investments you're making? If you're continuously having to prove that the foundation is truly, really, really there, how the hell will you ever have time and energy to build something on that foundation that is good, you know? And then you get to building and you're like happy with the result and the next morning they wake up, is there actually a foundation? I mean, girl, we just built this whole thing yesterday, <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? So. I hope that this this clicks i know it's not for the big group of aries anyways it's just needed to be said 
and just needed it to be said in this way I really was like aiming for like a 20 minute reading 15 minute reading for you guys because I know you you like a sw short and sweet <laughs> and I have a lot of readings to do but I guess it just went the way it went and I definitely got a message from it myself as well so thank you for that hair all right, I'm going to pick up one or card to just sort of all bind this together. If there's any extra messages that I'm missing out because it was focusing on something so much, um, we'll get to that. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. All right, Aries. Which deck shall we pick up? Let's just do this one, the Magical Spirit. Oh, special card. It says, trust in the places you feel guided towards. Exactly. Trust in the places you feel guided towards. You see that sad dream and a goal. One thing at a time. One step at a time. It's your higher self trying to guide you somewhere. Aries, space, time, and self. Infinity, reincarnation, reincarnation, and 5D. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to read that from the book and I'm really, really leave you alone. <laughs> Let you go on up on your precious time and energy. Um, let's see, 24 equals 6. It says, I trust and remember my soul's mission. Powerful. Especially because spoke about that stuff. It says, higher self, intuition quantum realm you are a soul here to embark on a human journey you chose this mission to experience and enjoy and overcome and evolve into your highest most authentic self you are influenced by space time free will and spirit this is a transcendence of your soul and a healing for the collective consciousness we are evolving alongside spirit and the universe there is an overarching purpose to do what we do, who we are, and what we were, and sorry, and where we go. Deep down, we feel its call, and that's, and that we have been here before. We sense that there is something else above and beyond all of this. Notice how the eyes in the artwork lovingly and confident, confidently look at you. I will just show you the artwork. <laughs> This is your highest self, the eyes, the knowingness of your soul. Allow it to guide you, to comfort, to teach, and to center you in this great, on this great adventure. You can always connect with it, um, with you in a quantum realm through spiritual practices, nature, and communications via the heart. We are always in the 5D realm. It's just that we live in a 3D as humans, but this is not all we are our soul connects us to the source of spirit see the magic mushrooms that grow by your feet I just let's just okay those red things you see them below here over there those are the magic mushrooms okay because he's really you know um one more time one sec um see the magic mushrooms that grow by your feet they are for they are for you as you set off into the mystic unknown. The mushrooms symbolize the gifts and the breadcrumbs that spirit and our soul have given you. Will you take them? Will you allow them to help you see? They will help you to awaken and recognize your spirit-given self and intuition. Pulling this card has an energy of soulful remembering behind it to listen when your soul calls you. This is your higher self gifting this to you now. They call you to remember what this is really all about. Do not get too lost in the details of daily human life. To zoom out and to see the bigger picture. To rise above and come back home to your core. Do you remember, dear soul? Mm, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful card, Aries. So soak up in all this energy that is very beneficial for you this month bring in some playful energy just you know enjoy yourself create from a place you know just to create and not because 
you feel it has to instantly have all these you know effects and it might actually bring you more blessings than you expect them to do okay i love you aries go make a good month out of the june one <laughs> i don't even know it's the way you say it but that's just the way it came okay i love you aries i'll be back soon all right bye